back to our channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Emily. In today's video, I figured I would just get ready with you guys because I have to shoot an Instagram picture for Princess Polly, which that video is already live. So go check it out if you haven't already. We got some super cute spring and summer pieces and this is one of them. It's just a really cute dress that you'll see in the video. But um, yeah, I just figured I would share with you guys my current makeup routine and go-to makeup look when I'm doing a full glam. And for me, it's all or nothing. If I do my makeup, it's gonna be full glam. Even if I try and make it natural, it's just gonna turn into this. So I figured I would just share with you guys some products that I've been obsessing over lately and show you how they work, all that stuff. Um, I'm no expert and this was a super chatty video, so this doesn't get into the nitty gritty techniques or anything like that, but I really wanted to just film something for you guys and I figured this would just be a fun casual video and to just kind of catch up, chat with you guys, update you guys on a few things and just show you guys my current makeup look. So I really hope you babes enjoy. Make sure to like this video if you want more of these style videos and yeah. Okay, so let's get right into the makeup look. Sorry if the lighting is not the best. I honestly think like it just doesn't really matter. You guys get the point. It's mainly about the products. I'm a little shiny because Botox, you guys see this? Magic. If you guys haven't gotten Botox and you've been considering it, just do it. You won't regret it. It's seriously the best thing ever. <laughs> your makeup like doesn't crease in your forehead. I don't know, it just, it just makes me feel so much more confident um, in my skin and just the way I look. I feel like I look a lot more youthful. But anyways, let's get right into the makeup. So. I'm going to be using a new foundation that I've recently been trying, and this is actually a drugstore find, so we love that. This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup with Sunscreen. This has SPF 50. I feel like this is a dupe for the IT Cosmetics CC Cream um, SPF 50. I honestly think these are like basically the same thing. So if you've been wanting to try this, but think it's a little too pricey, I highly suggest trying this one. And this shade is bomb. This is um, Natural Beige, 220 Natural Beige. And it's just a really nice neutral tan color. It's not too warm. I'm not fig tanned right now, but I do have a natural tan from being in the sun in Arizona. And we went boating on Sunday and it was really warm. So I do have a natural tan going on, so I didn't really want to add a fake tan. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to be applying this. I'm going to be using this um, Kabuki brush. I've been liking using Kabuki brushes over beauty sponges lately. I don't know why. I still use beauty sponges for like other things, which you'll see. But I have been really liking applying my foundation with a Kabuki brush. So I'm just going to be applying this. I got this Kabuki brush on Amazon, by the way. Um, I can link it below for you guys. It's just a very simple one, not like super special, but... You guys can see this coverage and like it just covers everything so well and it blends out so nicely i absolutely love this foundation i feel like i haven't heard that many people talk about it i think i saw it on like someone's story i don't know who it was i wish i did so i can give them credit um but i was like oh that looks interesting and then when i was at the store and i saw it i looked at the shade and i was like wow that's a really nice shade this foundation, like I said, is just amazing. Nice full coverage. Make sure you blend it down your neck, onto your ears. So the reason I'm getting ready today is actually because um, I have to take a picture for Princess Polly. We have to post our video today and um, I don't have a picture yet to post with the video, which is what the contract is, you know, requiring. So. I figured I just might as well show you guys the makeup that I do for when I get ready for pictures or honestly just every day. This is just like my go-to makeup look, especially for the spring and summertime. I don't know. I just really, really love it. And I basically have been doing this like I did this pretty much every day when I was on vacation in Arizona. Um, we mentioned in the Princess Polly video that we're actually going back to Scottsdale again for mine and Abby's 27th birthday in July. So we're super excited about that. That should be really fun. Um, I absolutely love Scottsdale, but don't think I could move there. I don't know, I feel like I just would not, it would not be good for my physical or mental health, to be honest. Um, 
yeah i need to like slow down i really want to take um the rest of may and june to really put my head down and focus on my businesses i've been slacking a little bit and i'm super passionate about both of my businesses and i'm just kind of like falling off which i kind of needed that reset and that break and it felt really good but when i'm back at work like microblading and you know doing eyebrows I realize how happy it makes me and it's like why am I not putting more effort and energy into this I really really should and I'm not saying that I don't because I do take it seriously but I want to start taking it a lot more seriously especially after the summertime I feel like the summer is kind of like a slow season just because um, you know people don't really want to get their brows done when they can't be in the Sun for two weeks the Sun can really like mess with the healing and stuff so but anyways that's the foundation I absolutely love the way it looks it just oh my gosh it's so smoothing such good coverage and it doesn't look cakey it's not too dewy it's not too matte absolutely love it so I'll have this link below you can get it on Amazon um, but or Ulta but it's so bomb okay so next up I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade nude Abby and I both love this concealer it's just a really hydrating and reliable concealer it doesn't get cakey i don't know i just really really like the way it looks so i'm just going to be applying that on the spots i want highlighted just a little bit not too much my voice is still kind of gone by the way I don't know how long it's gonna take for my, for my voice to not sound like a man but hopefully that goes away soon because that's been like really annoying so I'm just gonna be using this beauty blender sponge from Mac I don't know I just thought this is really interesting when I saw it there because I actually went to go pick up um, another one of the Mac sorry this is dirty the give me sun bronzer because this is one of mine and Abby's favorites it's just a beautiful warm summer shade i absolutely love this bronzer and i always every time i use it i'm like oh forget how amazing this is uh, but i'm going to be using the patrick tall one today just because that's the one that i shared with you guys in my last video so i kind of want to stick to the products that i said i've been currently loving so you guys can see how they work um but yeah i'm just going to be blending this out so also today our the other day what was today today is wednesday on monday i had to go to the dentist i haven't been to the dentist in like so long it's actually kind of gross so i went there to get like a full exam and um to see like where my wisdom teeth are at because i'm almost 27 and i still haven't got them out and everyone's telling me like the longer you wait the worse it is to get them out and they've been kind of bothering me lately um so luckily i only need to get three of them removed not all four which honestly i was like cool like that was kind of a score um even though it's still gonna suck but i also found out that one of my uh, molars that had a cavity it had a filling the filling fell out so they have to refill that and yeah so i have to get my wisdom teeth out and i'm honestly terrified I don't know why but I'm definitely gonna have them put me under I know you like you don't have to and it costs a lot more money I'm paying for this all out of pocket which really sucks um, but yeah I I'm not looking forward to it I have to get that scheduled I hope I can get it done like next month so that way I can just get it over with before you know the summer and our, our birthday and stuff but a couple other things I'm getting done um okay first of all let me go ahead and just share with you guys the next thing i'm doing real quick i know i like to chat <laughs> so make sure that um you just get it a little bit on your eyelids i don't use like an eyelid primer or eyeshadow primer anymore i just kind of use like some leftover concealer um i just feel like it just works just as good and my um, eyeshadow still doesn't crease or anything like that so yeah I, that's the way that i do it but you can use eyeshadow primer if you want up to you um but i'm going to be using the makeup by mario master mattes eyeshadow palette absolutely love this palette abby and i've talked about this a few times now we got it during the sephora sale and i've been using it literally every single day like i can't get enough of this this is going to be my like ride or die palette for summer fall honestly all seasons 
I just wish that there was like a inner corner shade or like a highlighting shade. That's okay. These shades are just absolutely beautiful and so easy to blend. So I'm going to be using the Morphe M441 blending brush first. And I'm just gonna take these two, like the lightest neutral shades, and I'm just going to blend these into my crease. Just really, really lightly, like circular motions, back and forth, windshield and circular. But these shadows are like really easy to blend. Like you do not have to like have a really good technique down or anything like that. Like these are just really, really easy to blend. And another tip um, that we've shared before, but maybe you missed it, is holding the eyeshadow brush like towards the end. If you hold it right here, you're gonna have get like too much pressure and it's gonna be a lot harder to blend out the shades. So hold the brush towards the end so that way it's like looser and there's not too much product being placed down in one spot and then it's harder to blend out if that makes sense. So yeah, I just like kind of blend that in and then I'll go in with like a more defined brush. I have so many brushes in here, they all get lost. So this is the Morphe M433 brush. It's just a little bit more like dome shaped or not dome shaped, this is a little bit more pointed. The other one is like really fluffy and like round, but this one is more tapered so that way you can really, you know, get a little bit more precise, but it still doesn't have to be super precise. Um, I'm gonna be taking the shade right here and also this shade right here. So mixing these two. I don't know why I like mixing the shades so much. So I'm gonna be adding that to my crease, just deepening it up a little bit, but mainly focusing on like the outer corner. This kind of just like opens the eye. I've just been loving a bronzy eyeshadow look, like just a matte bronze look for summer and spring. That's my go-to. I just feel like it's classic, it looks good on everybody, and I don't know, I just love the way it looks, especially like when you're tan and you just have like a nice matte bronze look on your eyes. I just think it looks very beautiful. Okay, yeah, so that's it for now. Just a very simple bronze eyeshadow look. That took like two minutes too. This is super easy and honestly foolproof. Anybody can do this look, it's not hard, but I'm not an expert by any means. I am no makeup artist, so. Sorry if you guys can hear the fan, by the way. It's automatic, like I can't turn it off. If the light's on, the fan's on. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm gonna be getting a couple cosmetic things done to my smile as well. Um, I know I mentioned in the Q&A that I wanted to get veneers, and I've been doing so, so much research. I've watched so many YouTube videos and got a few opinions and I even asked um, my dentist when I went on Monday and she told me like that my teeth are really strong and healthy and to not do that because I'm just gonna, you know, ruin my teeth and then when I'm older, I'm gonna have to keep getting them redone and there's always problems and complications. So if you have healthy teeth to just avoid it. So I'm not gonna get veneers, um, but what I am going for today at 3.30, I have a consultation for what's called crown lengthening and gum contouring. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but basically, you're gonna just like laser the top of my gums. Yeah, I'll show you guys. You see, like, I just have a lot that shows, especially on these like front four, just a little bit, just to kind of like lengthen my teeth a little bit, and then they would kind of shave these ones down here a little bit. And then I have like some gaps in my bottom teeth because I'm a special gal and when I was a little kid and my tooth fell out and never grew back in. So they all have shifted awkwardly and I just have these weird little gaps in my bottom teeth. And maybe you've noticed it, maybe you haven't, but it's one of my biggest insecurities and it has been for so, so long. Like when I talk, I try and like keep my bottom lip up because I don't want people to see like all the gaps in my bottom teeth. Um, so what I'm going to be getting done is called dental bonding. So they're basically just take like a filling that's tooth, that's like colored match to your tooth. And basically they just like fill in the gaps with that, um, material and it just makes it look like you don't have any gaps. Anyways, that's going to be a fortune. So 
but luckily I've been saving because I've been considering veneers for so long. So I have a nice savings set aside for it. It's gonna probably cost me between like my wisdom teeth, my cavity, and gum contouring, crown lengthening, dental bonding, all of it. This is going to be a pretty penny. And I just paid taxes, let me tell you. If you are self-employed or if you want to be self-employed, you need to be aware to save your money for taxes, you guys. 20% of your income, put it away. 25, honestly, just to be safe. I had to pay 20% of my income. Whew, that hurt, that hurt real bad, but that's okay. I'm, I'm like, okay, it's time to just rebuild. And luckily, I have been pretty good at saving my money lately. I haven't been buying much clothes. I've bought a lot of makeup during the sale, but I haven't been buying clothes. Okay, here I am on a tangent. I need to stop talking. I'm sorry. Let's get on with the makeup. So I'm going to be using um, this powder that I discussed in the last video that I discussed. That sounded so professional. This powder that I mentioned in the last video was the Maybelline Lasting Fix Banana Translucent Setting Powder. And... This powder is my new favorite, and I just love it. It's really, really nice, really blurring, and yeah, just go buy it, just trust. Um, but I'm gonna be taking the Makeup by Mario EF1 brush. This is a brush that Abby and I both got. It's like a flat concealer brush, and then it has like this little dome brush for under eye powder, so I've been loving using this to just Put the um, powder under my eyes very, very lightly because as you guys know, or if you're new here, you wouldn't know, but I have dry skin. So um, I can't use too much powder or else it will just like cling and look cakey. But I don't know if you guys can see like the effect. Let me get a little closer for you guys. The effect that this powder has. Um, excuse me, ma'am, Miss Girl, Miss Thing, you are smooth like wow it's like magic honestly i hope you guys can like see what it's doing it's crazy but i go ahead and put it down my nose a little bit put it on like the smile lines just where i kind of want highlighted because it is like a nice highlighting shade but um this is also on amazon by the way and it's amazing so Highly recommend. Thank you, Abby, for putting me onto this powder. I have a really hard time with powders, so this was a really, really good find. I think she found it through TikTok. Okay, and now I'm just gonna, like, I start at the bottom here and I kinda just like lightly work up because I don't want to use too much under my eyes. Just very, very, very lightly. Just kind of blurs out your pores a little bit but you just got to be careful to not overdo it in that area or you will look cakey speaking of tiktok though um i really wish that i could post more on tiktok i honestly i don't know why tiktok like intimidates me i know it's like a super real platform but the comment section like i watch so many people on tiktok i love scrolling and watching but people are so freaking mean on tiktok like people are bold with the things that they say like i've gotten some rude comments on my tiktoks whatever but like on other people's tiktoks i'm like oh my god if that was my video and i was getting those comments i would be really upset honestly and it's really sad that our generation like thinks it's okay to just bully people online and they say oh it just comes with the territory no it doesn't no it does not that's not cool at all Ugh, I don't know. It just bothers me a lot. And I know Jacqueline Hill posted a video recently. If you haven't watched it, you really should go watch it. She just kind of talks about how um, people really need to stop thinking that they have the right to comment on other people's appearance, which I 100% agree. Nobody would say those things to you in real life, so why the hell are they commenting that on your video? Like, if you wouldn't say it to someone's face, don't say it online. I could never be a hateful person like that. Like, hating is not cute. Like, your insecurity is very loud, but it just hurts other people. And, like, I know that's what they want, but it's just sick. Like, just let a girl live. Like, who cares if we gain weight? Who cares? Like, if she has too much filler, if that's your opinion, cool. She didn't ask. Just because she posts a video 
does not mean that you have the right to say your opinion. She didn't ask, don't tell her. Or anyone, not just her, like literally anybody online. Just because they post videos does not mean that you have the right to comment mean things. Like seriously, oh, it just drives me insane. Abby and I are very similar to Jacqueline. Like yeah, she's made some mistakes, but you know, she's human and I sympathize with her for a lot of the stuff that she's been through and all the hate that she's received because, you know, she's a human. We all are, no matter what, what their status is, what their job is, we're all human. We all have the same emotions and I don't know, just be kind. And if you are thinking something positive, just take the time to write a simple comment. I promise you it means so much. Like if you're thinking, damn, she looks bomb, comment that. If you really liked the video, give it a simple thumbs up. Do anything you can to support the people that you watch online, your content creators, because it's not as easy as it seems and putting yourself out there can be really hard and honestly damaging to your mental health. So the nice comments and the people that support you is what keeps you going. And every time we get a nice comment, it makes our day and you guys have no idea how much it means to us. And I know that goes the same way for other influencers. So if you're thinking something nice, say it. Just say it, just leave the comment. Even if it's not acknowledged, don't feel bad. It's not because they don't see it or they don't care, or they don't appreciate it, they do. I promise they do. Just leave the comment. But if it's gonna be negative, just exit out and don't leave the comment. Please stop with the toxic social media bullying. I'm going off, sorry. I'm just scared for our future generations, okay? We need to be nicer. So anyways, Moving along, um, I'm gonna be using the Patrick Ta She Sculpted Cream Contour and Powder Contour Duo. And I'm gonna be using just the Huda Beauty Shade and Sculpt um, Brush. I'm gonna be using the big side first and just taking that cream contour and just like lightly going upwards, like at an upward motion towards my temples. This is definitely a buildable, um, product which I love like it blends really well and it's not too intense so I really really like that about this product and it's a really really nice tan contour shade it's really hard to not get this in my hair <laughs> that's the one thing that sucks about being a blonde is like every time you do your makeup like the hairs around your scalp is like orange and it's really hard to get out <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do my jaw too. Bring it down my neck a little bit. I like to just take the small side of this brush and just put a little bit underneath my lips, just to make them look a little bit bigger. Down my nose, the sides of my nose. I really like don't have the patience to do like an intense nose contour. I really don't know how people do like I would go crazy it would just really bother me to like do all those little steps with all those little brushes I bought all these like contour brushes for your nose from Morphe like with that influencer like these ones and I just never use them because I'm like mm, that looks like a lot of work <laughs> but um yeah so I just kind of Go down the sides, across the middle at the top here, and then underneath at the bottom. Not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's just how I do it. And then obviously, gotta get the five head. Make it look a little bit smaller. I'm so happy that where I live in Washington State, we are actually reopening to phase four on June 30th, which is so exciting. It's still a little bit over a month away, um, but I am so happy that like, we're seeing the end and things are gonna get back to normal. It seriously like makes you wanna cry, I'm so happy. And um, yeah, I just wanna know where you guys live. Are you guys fully open already? Are you guys still gonna be in lockdown for a while? Like what's the tea? Because I'm so interested in know like what other areas are, you know, dealing with still. If you guys are still in lockdown, I just want to say I'm so sorry. I know that uh, when I went to Arizona, I got like a few messages like, oh my God, that looks amazing. I've still been in lockdown. Nothing's open here. Like, I think that's in other countries. And that sucks. Like, this is just ridiculous. And I'm not going to get into it because I know that that's just 
I will never talk politics on my channel. I just refuse to do it, but yeah, I'm so sorry if that's the case for you. But stay positive. Things are gonna get better for everyone. I very, very, very certain about that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the um, contour powder shade with this brush, which I raved about this brush and it's amazing, so good. This is the contour one brush from Patrick Ta and I just kind of go over that lightly. Oops, I think I just put a little bit too much on. That's okay, blend, blend, blend. So also another thing I wanted to kind of talk about is um, I know that you guys are waiting for a cool sculpting update. I've had a few people ask me about that. Um, I'm going to be giving that at the mark that, excuse me, my voice is like cracked. I'm going to be giving that at the, I think it was the 16 week mark. So I have my appointment with her, I think on like July 6th or 8th, and we're going to go over the final results and I'm going to share all of that with you guys. Um, but I will say I definitely do see a difference. I'm starting to see, you know, my sides get a little bit more flat because I actually weigh quite a bit right now. Um, I was doing really good before I went on vacation the first time and then I like got down to like 135, which it doesn't really matter what the scale says, it's how you feel and like how your clothes fit, but I was feeling good, 135, um, and I was like toned and whatever, but then I went to Arizona, fell off drank a lot, ate a lot, and then I got up to like 140. Now I'm back at like 142, which it's fine. I don't really care, but that is like a high weight for me. I'm 5'6", so it's not like that's big. I still am like fine and I'm so confident, but I've definitely put on some weight. So I'm trying to get back into the gym and kind of shed that off. I know that I was preaching for a while, like let's get fit for hot girl summer, whatever. And yes, honestly, like take care of yourself, be healthy, work out, do what makes you feel good. But I think that we all need to stop putting so much pressure on ourselves to look hot. Like I know we all want to look beautiful and stuff, but I'm just really kind of getting more and more over caring about my body so much. And I feel like I go through phases, maybe I'm saying that now and then in three months I'm gonna be obsessed with it again. But I'm honestly really happy right now and yes, I'm definitely not like super toned. I you know have cellulite, I have stretch marks, everything like that, but I've been so happy lately. I've been living my life, hanging out with friends, making new friends, just honestly living. And yeah, if you are gonna be going out, you're going to gain weight because you're gonna be eating food, you're gonna be drinking. And if it's making you happy, don't freak out about it, please. Just enjoy those moments because you're not gonna remember those few extra pounds in a year or two years from now looking back. You're not gonna remember. You won't care about those five, six pounds. What you're gonna care about is the memories that you have, the pictures. Take the pictures, even if you're feeling bloated that day, fat. I have so many pictures on my phone where I'm like, dang, that was not a good day, but I'm so happy that I have those pictures and those memories to look back on. So if any of you guys have been like, you know, not going out or not making plans or not taking pictures because you're so self-conscious about the way that your body looks, please, please, I'm begging you, just try to stop, take the pictures, go on the date, go hang out with your friends, go on the boat, put on the bikini, and just rock it. Because I promise you, nobody is looking into it as much as you are, and the fact that us females let our bodies get in the way of like our lives is really sad. So please, this summer, I know it's a hot girl summer, but it's also a fun girl summer. It is a happy girl summer, and if that means that you're not super shredded and toned, who fucking cares? Like, be happy. Put your happiness first before anything else, please. That's a little rant. I just feel like I have a lot to talk about and I just wanted to get a lot off my chest. Sorry if you're here just for the makeup, but that's just who I am. I'm a chatty ass bitch and I like to say what's on my mind. So anyways, back to the makeup for now. Who knows what tangent I'll go on next, but I'm gonna be using the KKW Blush in Honey Pot. Um, I absolutely love this blush. I've been using it pretty much every single day. Um, I've also been loving this cream contour blush, um, the Tower blush. This one is really, really good if you're gonna be like out in the sun 
and you know you just want something like hydrating and creamy been loving that it's in the shade um rush hour but this is just the blush i'm gonna be using today and i'm using the patrick ta blush brush and i'm just lightly tapping this on the apples of my cheeks and a little bit on my nose but yeah that is just a really nice rosy almost bronzy blush and i absolutely love it okay moving on to highlight i'm going to be using the jaclyn hill highlighter in mesmerized this highlighter is everything abby and i have been obsessing over it when you put it on it's just like a nice beautiful iridescent glow doesn't really like i don't know how to describe the shade it's not golden or or pink i don't know it's just like it's just perfect see if you guys can see like what i mean i just love it so much this is the best highlighter it's gorgeous this is the sonia kashuk small highlighting brush in case you're wondering but i just kind of lightly dust it along my cheekbones and then i also put it just down the center of my nose a little bit and just across the top just very very lightly you don't want to overdo it um but i just love the way that this looks a little bit on the upper lip and then I just take like one little swipe and just kind of go across my forehead just for like the slightest glow up there. I'm just going to use this as my inner corner highlight um, just so you're going to tie in the look. This is a really, really pretty inner corner highlight as well. And I just kind of lightly like bring it up my eye just a little bit and then just a little bit on the brow bone. Just kind of opens the eye up a little bit. Make some pop. Oh, the shade is just gorgeous. Jacqueline killed it with this and I really wanna try more of her products. I've also been loving her lipstick in Nudie. It's just the perfect shade to like put in the middle of your lips just to make them look bigger. But yeah, so there's that. So then I'm going to take the Morphe M456 brush. This is just like a tiny little tapered um, blending brush. And I'm just going to take um, this shade right here. And I'm just going to kind of go over the outer corner. And just kind of like bring it back. Because sometimes it can just get lost. And then I'm going to take that same brush for the same shade. And I'm just going to kind of um, blend it underneath my eyes. Kind of just like look up and just lightly blend it across that lower lash line. Not too much, just a little bit. This just kind of like ties in the shadow look and just kind of smokes out your eye a little bit. Love the way that this looks. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Waterproof Mascara. I mean, I've talked about this multiple times, but it's so good. Look at this tiny little brush. Like, it's so tiny, and it just gets all those little lashes. I just realized that every drugstore product that I used today was from Maybelline. So, looks like Maybelline is winning the game right now. I love this mascara, this powder, and then that foundation. So... Go oh, Maybelline, we love you. So I'm just gonna be using the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray to set everything and just kind of melt it all together. I love this stuff, feels so good. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm just gonna do my lipstick. And you guys already know the vibes. Um, okay, I'm gonna find the lip liner that I wanna use and I'll just be right back with my lips okay, so done. I'm back, my lips are done. I just used um, the KKW lip liner in Honey 3. And then I just kind of like blended it out with my finger. Why does my voice keep cracking? My voice is having issues. And then I used Too Faced Child Star and then a little bit of Jeffree Star I'm Nude in the center of my lips. And I just needed to touch up my hair. I haven't washed my hair in like a week. But um, I'm just going to touch up a few spots because I haven't done that in a few days. What I do love about this hair tool is that when you crimp it, it lasts for days and days and days. Like I've been wearing my hair up. I've worked out. And my hair still looks pretty good for the most part. There's just a couple pieces that I want to touch up. So 
yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Um, and some people have been asking for a tutorial on how to crimp our hair, how Abby and I do it. But honestly, we don't really have like anything special to share. What I will say um, is that you need to make sure that you get as close to the root as possible when you're doing it. Like don't try and like start here because then it will look really weird. You kind of want to start like closer to the root. And then um, you don't need to put spaces in between like the wave. So if you are starting here, you when you unclamp it, just go right underneath where that last crimp was. And then that's it. Like don't don't try and put like space in between it or like overthink it too much. Just you know, make it extra wavy, whatever you want. But what I do love about um, this crimper is that oh, it's like smoking, but you can adjust this, make it like you know, just a slight wave or a really intense wave. Abby and I kind of like to keep it like at the top there. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you know that you enjoyed our little chat. I know it was really, really chatty, but a lot of you guys don't mind that and you can skip around, whatever. Either way, I hope you guys found some new products that you want to try out or, you know, you just enjoyed watching. Maybe you were bored, maybe you had nothing to do. I don't know, but, um... Yeah, I'm really excited to be back on YouTube and back on like a work grind because like I said, I fell off a little bit. So yeah, I'm happy to be back and let me know in the comments what you want to see. I know you guys probably want to see like a vlog or like we definitely want to do a summer favorites here soon and um, some other like summery themed videos. Maybe that Amazon video I was talking about, you know, finish that and probably film that next week but um yeah let me know what else you guys want to see in the comments i love you guys thank you so much for watching please make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it really does help out our channel and just thank you guys for being here and staying with us even though you know we've had our ups and downs we've gone through a few different life changes with you guys and it's actually really cool that like we've all been through it all together like I know like you guys don't realize it but you guys have helped us through everything that we've been through and yeah I know that we don't talk too much about our personal lives but you guys have made such an impact on our life and I don't know why I'm getting deep right now like what has gotten into me today I don't know what it is I think it's because it's rainy and gloomy I'm just like in my feels today and I just want to get all my emotions off my chest. But anyways, I love you babe so much. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you very soon in our next video. XOXO.